Hey everybody! Welcome back. It's 4th of July. Well, at least it was briefly. Got the time going pretty quick. It's uh, mid-July now, 1901. And, um, well, I, I don't need to tell you how good we're doing. You can see the numbers are the numbers are pretty good here. All right, we're, they're just going up faster and faster. Uh, electric arc process is done, which means we can now do arc welding, or at least do the research for arc welding. And we can also unlock the electric arc process for the steel mills, which is going to be hugely helpful in making more steel at the expense of going even more into the iron mines, unfortunately. So we're going to need more oil produced, more explosives, more everything as we expand our iron industry to meet the needs of steel because the demand for steel, um, well, this demand for steel is about to go way up uh, because arc welding is going to happen. Yeah, we're going to do that too. That's good for the shipyards, for the arc welded steel steamships. That's the final level for the steamships. And also arc welded buildings is the final stage for the construction sector as well for ultimate and super awesome efficiency, albeit with a huge cost to steel. So definitely going to need to do something uh, about that as we go too. Uh, okay, I want to show you where we're at, but first I'm just going to get Modern Financial Instruments done because it will help me with my budget. You can see that we're producing a lot of stuff here, and I actually was maxing this out for quite a while. I'm still expanding ports and getting more convoys and all sorts of things. I just can't stop building in this game, man. And yet we're only down 105,000 because everywhere else is pretty good. Honestly, not gonna lie, everything seems uh, pretty rock solid. We're at 7.4. I, I kind of like to get GDP per capita over 12. 11 or 12 would be really cool. So I kind of like to get there. I know that seems like, wait, you don't need to go that high for number one, but like, I kind of want it there. It'd be really nice to have. Um, we're gonna switch this power plant here to a coal-fired one. And we're gonna up it by, let's say, five levels, okay? Because so, we're gonna use a lot more electricity in a second. I'm also going to go in and upgrade this one too. It's set to auto expand, but I'm going to let it do it. I'm going to do it uh, myself here real quick. Uh, Florida and its sugar plantations have been doing outstanding work. They've been very profitable. We're going to increase that by 10 levels today. And uh, what I would like to do is I'd like to get all of my government administration, government administration buildings nationwide today, which is a huge undertaking, but I'd like to do it. All of my government administration buildings nationwide should be using telephones. Now, telephones are already 11.5% higher than the market equilibrium price, but I think we can do it. Now, here's what happens, right? If I go into buildings, go to urban, and I scroll down and find my government administration buildings. All right, so if I was to switch everyone to telephone switchboards, I need to create an additional 1,000 telephones, okay? I need a thousand telephones to do this, right? It's also going to use a whole lot more paper, four and a half thousand paper, which actually isn't that big of a deal because we have a lot of paper going out anyway. But look what it does. It adds 22,700 more bureaucracy. <laughs> um, and it'll add 6,800 more taxation capacity uh, throughout the nation. It also will use 284,000 less clerks, but will employ more bureaucrats. Or well, will give me more bureaucrats. Um, so that's pretty cool, right? They're part of the middle strata. Clerk is lower strata. So we're going to encourage people to move up their strata, move up in status, right? Uh, so that's what we need to do. All the government administration buildings, I would like to, by the end of this video, have them all be on the telephone switchboard. So how am I going to create a thousand more telephones, right? Well, the only place we're creating telephones at the moment in the entire country is in West Virginia. It's this place right here, and it's level eight. It is currently producing 609 televisions. That's the total consumption or the total production. So we need to more than double this. So that just means I need more tele another eight level eight telephone thing, right? Well, yes and no, because see, I'd also like to get some of these to move to radio production as well so that we can get radios and start using those for military. So I'd like to do that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up this by two. And I'd like to go into, uh, never remember where things are, man. Industry? Electrics industries. All right, so we can make telephones somewhere else, okay? Now, it looks like, 
I've already started doing it here. I, I was planning this out earlier. So it looks like telephone industry is already starting here. There's going to go up to level one in Chihuahua. Chihuahua, I don't know. Uh, I'd like to go into a place where maybe they need a little bit more employment. And if we take a look at uh, what goes into making telephones, because it's not a cheap thing. We need a lot more iron, lead, rubber, and tools. Now, rubber is very discounted right now. We've expanded that. And I'm continuing to expand that. Part of this huge, like, I don't know, Magic the Gathering card collection we have over here in the top right corner. Uh, a lot of this stuff here is expanding iron and coal and tools and all sorts of things. So I need to see kind of where it, where it flattens out. I think I've got it balanced, but I just can't stop building in this game. Uh, but lead needs to be expanded. I think a couple of those in the queue are lead. Um, and then rubber is big and then tools. All right. So there's a lot going on with this industry. Let's just take a look at this really quick. Tooling workshops are being expanded. Huge textile mills, furniture, uh, is going up. Uh, lots of furniture factories. We got steel mill production, iron mines going in and a few government administration building upgraded uh, power plant expansions to go along with the extra power we're going to be using lots of sugar plantation stuff happening as well and then our more electrics industries stuff happening in west virginia so uh, let's go ahead and upgrade these two things to be the top there we go i guess i was hitting the wrong button and so to get more steel because i want to do arc welding too so we need more iron there more coal more tools like everything requires these things right um, and if I go into new processes, if I do the electric arc process, will it require even more iron, but we're going to make more tools for the same, uh, it's going to be more efficient. We're going to end up using more tools, um, and expense will have, uh, more, uh, let me just see more electricity usage, uh, but a slightly more iron, but we get a lot more steel from it. So I think we want to switch all of our steel mills to the, uh, electric process once we you know have a need for it it's obviously right at its equilibrium price right now which is 50 and i really like that i want it to be as close to the equilibrium price as possible the coal is very close to iron isn't bad tools are getting expanded there's a lot of that happening in this already so we'll just have to wait for that to be done and that's going to happen in three weeks let's just run the run the time and we'll see where it ends up in fact i'm going to skip you guys ahead let's do that actually i'm going to skip you guys ahead to where this construction queue is completely done which shouldn't take very long. It looks like 12 weeks. That's not that bad. Um, so we'll get we'll get this done, or at least most of it done, and then we'll we'll kind of see where we land from there. You can see that we have a huge surplus in our budget, um, and that's just going to get bigger now that minting, 10% uh, more minting, and also our interest rate is lower. Which I don't really need the interest rate to be lower, but uh, it is lower. Yep. And the radicals are also kind of being reduced too. It's not so red in these areas anymore, but I am gonna to try to expand our production in the reddest areas because those are the areas that are getting neglected. So these are the areas where we need to expand things, right? So if I want more steel, I need to do it here. Now I've had somebody make this comment and I don't actually know if this is true. So if you know it's true, not guessing, if you know it's true, please chime down below, chime in down below and tell me if this is a legit thing for Victoria 3 specifically. If I want to make steel, is having the inputs for steel be lo being located in the same region or in the same state in this case, is that more efficient? Does that help efficiency for it? So for example, if I wanna make a steel mill here, the steel mill is going to have inputs of iron, coal, tools, etc. right? So if I also have tools being made here and I have the iron mines running, is that going to make steel production in this game more efficient? Because I haven't seen any indication that that is the case. So I'd like your comments on that. I'd like your feedback on that to see if that is something that uh, that exists or not in this. Because I, I don't, I genuinely don't know. So we're going to expand the rubber plantations here to max those out. And then I'm also going to get lead a little bit more there too. Uh, just again, want to provide more jobs for people. We can't have homeless pe peasants that don't have anything to do. I think the coffee industry, uh, we can start exporting that too. I'm going to go like 20 levels on this. And then if it's too high, we'll open up a, uh, open up an export route for, for coffee just to kind of get those guys more jobs. Play for power. 
Lafayette Calvert from the Industrialist has made a remarkable play for power in the capital in order to secure industrialists within government. I, I like this, actually, because honestly, I kind of want to get the communists out of power. I'm not going to lie. I'm just their name. All right. If you guys had named yourself something different, maybe like the, I don't know, the Glorious Workers Party or something. If you, if you had named yourself something that wasn't Communist Party, I probably would be more open to it. But since you went that route... And I, I, I'm sorry, I gotta be a patriot here. I, a little bit of my real life self is bleeding into the game here. I gotta get you out of here, okay? I gotta get you got. So I think I'm gonna go with this because I kind of want these guys to have more strength. And these are the industrialists. So what, uh, what party are you guys from? The Communist Party is consisting of the trade unions and the intelligentsia. Okay, I didn't know you guys were gonna end up going there. Uh, so industrialists is the Whig party now. That's a big change of events. Yeah, now the industrialists are the Whigs. So, okay, yeah, sure, let's go ahead and do that. Give the Whig party more uh, more stuff. Now, you can see that pretty much everybody's happy. Uh, the Whig, the industrialists are almost loyal, but everybody else, like, these guys are loyal, and we're getting both perks for this, which is nice. Um, armed forces are loyal. <laughs> Rural folk are loyal. Everybody is looking pretty good, except for the marginalized groups, but they're still plus two, plus four, no big deal. And it's all because standard of living keeps going up and they're all happy. Regardless of how they view what the government should be like, people cannot argue with their lives getting better. You just simply can't argue with that. If your lives are getting better. You don't necessarily care uh, as much. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for arc welding here and start getting that working. Uh, and then I'll probably have to switch towards the oil turbine eventually if we can get the oil pumping uh, in, the, in the country here, which I'm not sure we can get enough oil pumping but we can certainly try let's get coal to be expanded because we're going to need more of that and utah how is how is your how's your people doing here it looks like you're doing pretty good yeah everyone's way above their standard of living their medium like everyone has almost double their expectations okay well the highest strata have almost double their expectations in utah already so like we we definitely did well in utah uh, I imagine porcelain's finally under control. That's good. Dyes are kind of under control. Lead is cheap. It's going to get much more expensive in the future. And I need to expand oil as well, even more. So um, I think probably what we'll do is... Yeah, we'll just go to California and do it. Because California has more oil. Not really ironically, but they have more oil. So we're going to go ahead and expand that. California should have an arts academy. I think that's probably something they should definitely have. We'll go five levels, six levels on that. They should need to have a good university as well. So we'll go like that. We'll put like five, five levels on that. Six levels on that, whatever. Um, let's give them food industry because they should be growing, I mean, food type crops. They grow a lot. A lot of food comes out of Mexico, or not Mexico, California as well. Um, can't have avocado fields, unfortunately. <laughs> Gotta go with the song, man. Avocados from Mexico. Come on, you guys like that commercial. Don't get me wrong, you guys do. Don't lie. Uh, let's see, how about we go hardwood production here instead? I think the price of wood is okay. They're not using it as much as hardwood is. Yeah, hardwood needs to be greatly improved. And we'll do a chainsaws just to get extra uh, regular wood going. But then we're gonna expand this by like five levels too. All right. So I need to let this queue run, right? This this thing is just constant. I'm always trying to improve things, thinking I need more, and then by the time the queue gets done, I've overdone it, which is usually not a problem at all because we're gonna expand other places and use the supply anyway. But uh, instead of being such a rapid expansionist, I think I'm going to just settle for a second, let the construction finish, got people employed, quality of life is improving everywhere as per usual. Uh, and I'm going to be, I'll be right back once I've got most of this construction queue done, which again, looks like it's about eight to 10 weeks away. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll be right back. See the grass actually is greener on the other side, Idaho. Okay. They're seeing this, right? Turmoil in Idaho. This is Canada right now. It is. Yeah. See, see. And then they go look over at Colorado and they're like, or sorry, Wyoming. And they're just like, oh, 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 look at how good they live. Huh? They, they look at Utah and they're like, oh my God, look at how good they're living. Wow. They're actually quite affluent. Amazing. Nevada. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. They're nearly 40 in our standard of living. 
What are we gonna do? California's even good. They were bad before and now they're good. What happened? We don't like, no, no, we don't like this. We wanna, be, we wanna join the United States, please. That's what these two states are saying. I can hear them screaming it out. Take me, take me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go to diplomatic plays. Uh, I can just say make puppet of Canada um, if I want to. And it will let me do it, and uh, I will not necessarily have to deal with Great Britain, although they may join, but uh, I can kick their ass. I actually have, uh, I think, more power than they do here at this point. So, um, plus I would be able to stomp in there with uh, almost no problem. We can make these guys a puppet, annex Canada, bring them into our wonderful culture, <laughs> and then we finally get to go after Alaska. Now, we could do this anyway, but... I'd rather just take Canada first. It seems like it's an easier target. And I want to get the lower 48. Now, I'm a little too... I'm two years late. I'm probably going to end up being more like four years late uh, by the time I get those states, unfortunately. Just the way it is. But you can see it here. Um, our balance is absurd now. Um, we have a positive balance. That's very good. Now, I did say at the end of this video, I wanted to have all of my government administration buildings on telephones. You probably heard me say that, and then I just... Didn't look like I was doing anything with telephones for a while, right? And it's because I've been messing with the inputs for telephones. I'm expanding iron, rubber, lead, and tools. Trying to get the prices down on these. So we're down, we have a, we have a discount now uh, on iron. We have a, a supply surplus, sorry, on this. We have a surplus of rubber, we have a surplus of lead. And we're getting there very, very close to getting a surplus of tools. I do need to expand the tooling a little bit more. So, uh... Electrics industry is here, by the way. We're going to expand this by 10 levels. And we're going to I'll go ahead and expand uh, West Virginia by three more levels, too. Getting it ready for the transition. And all we're going to do now is uh, get tooling up here, too. So we have lead mines here. Uh, we're going to need more of those. We're going to expand that by five. We're going to expand. I think we'll go ahead and get uh, tooling workshops in Chihuahua as well. New Mexico. Uh, I, I don't need to up your furniture right away, but coal mines are definitely going to need to go up because we're going to start using more very, very soon here. Uh, and that's the most you can do. 20 is maxed out for you on coal mines. Okay. Uh, in that case, we'll put tooling workshops in here as well, and we'll bring that up by, like, say, five more levels as well. So it'll be plus six when it's done. And I think, I think at that point, we're probably solid. Uh, I do need to see... The cost of transportation, because iron mines use transportation, and transportation is a little bit pricey. Engines are cheaper now. Coal is about to go down. Transportation needs to get cheaper. I thought I had railroads in progress, but maybe they're done now. It looks like my railroad expansions are completed now. So let's go into railway, and we're just going to add a little bit more transportation throughout this area. Just to kind of get more of the railroad all the way out here. Yeah, let's show Idaho. Let's really show Idaho how it's done, folks. <laughs> this is what happens when you have money. Oh, look at this. They don't even have full market access here. So, yeah. We're going to have to get that there, too. Anyone else? Get a couple of, couple of railways there. I think pretty much everybody else is good, though. We can add a port in a couple of these places, too. I want to expand the port in Texas and the Rio Grande. A Rio Grande, whatever. Donation of knowledge, what's up? This is fine, a new university in South Carolina. That's fine with me. Uh, so there we go, and we'll just up that a couple of bits there. No big deal. Yeah, fishing wharfs. Let's go ahead and do refrigerated rail cars on this. Uses more transportation, but it's fine. And then we also need to expand the fishing industry as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this be auto expanded. And I think I might go into a different fishing industry as well. This one here and have this auto expand as well. If you guys are ever at a point where you have this much cash, just expand yourself and equalize that market, okay? Same thing here. Do that. Uh, Virginia, I think the chemical plant can go ahead and do that. And New York. Uh, tooling is already going to do that. Look at how productive they are, man. The productivity in the tooling industry in New York is insane right now. Just enormously insane. Uh, now, they won't auto-expand unless my construction queue is less than 26 weeks, which is kind of always. So, look, they're just automatically going to expand themselves uh, to get the tools under control. I like it. Let's also do the same with steel mills in New Hampshire. All right. So, I've laid the groundwork, right, so that we could have 
our telephone industry work really, really well. That was the whole point. Let's get telephones to work really well. Now, engines are discounted. Automobiles are very discounted. That's just because we don't have military action happening. But we will soon. Coming for you, Canada. Um, and then it'll be it'll work itself out then at this point. I really wish that they would have had automobiles be purchased by private citizens. It's purely military. It sucks. I wish it wasn't, but it is. It's just purely military. Um, so what I could do is... I can now go into my buildings, go to urban. Let's see just how short we're going to be. If I switch everyone to switchboards, 988 more telephones. That's what we need to have in stock. We need to have 800, uh, 988 more telephones. So uh, you can see the icon there. It's going to be 20 weeks, now 19 weeks, until those electrics companies are up and running and expanded. If I take a look over here, it's going to be another 18 weeks until they are expanded as well. So if I didn't want to go in some serious debt by paying a lot more for telephones in government, then I would go ahead and uh, wait for this. I would, I would go ahead and wait. Yeah, I would go ahead and wait. But since I'm making a lot of money and I really want to see how much more it's going to cost me, let's go ahead and hit that button and um, we'll see like how just how short we are on telephones going over time okay so oil subsidies nothing lasts forever sorry california your oil boom is done now every state is probably going to complain about not having telephones but what i want to see you know what like doing this this early doesn't make any sense does it it really doesn't make sense why don't we just wait just wait a second until we get the telephones in the market, okay? Because now government employees, government administration buildings can't be fully employed. But did you see how much bureaucracy I had? This went from this went from like the four, like it is now, up to thirteen thousand. But it also was costing me like an extra two hundred grand to do that. So like, I don't need to spend two hundred grand just to make seventy two hundred more, right, from this. So I need to make sure that the telephone industry is done. All these electrics industries expansions need to complete before I do this, and they need to then see the demand for their product and fully staff their workforces, uh, so their their workplaces, so that we can get this running. So uh, gotta have to wait seven more weeks. Another rubber rush. I'm loving the rubber rush. Mmm. Uh, let's do it in the Yucatan, because they're a little less happy with me, so we'll do it in the Yucatan. I have another rubber rush here. Oh, okay, good. We'll do this one in Guatemala then. <laughs> uh, Yucatan, uh, we'll say you got more rubber here now, is what it looks like, right? Yeah, rubber plantations is discovered here, so... Obviously going to want more of that. Let's get five rubber plantations there. And then Guatemala should have rubber plantations as well. But they're not going to use them because they're not part of us yet. So you know what? Just real quickly here. Why don't we just go ahead and take this and make it and exit. And we might have to deal with Great Britain. That's weird. Are you really going to have to deal with Great Britain to do this? Let's just do this right now. Let's just take this. Take this. Um... Annex Guatemala. Let's get this fully in here. Um, we'll just go ahead and mobilize a few generals, and uh, yeah, we'll just get a couple people in. We don't need we don't need everybody mobilized, so we'll just move that. Guatemala is not that strong, so they're gonna mobilize two units, and they're already there. I'm mobilizing 42 units, uh, so that's that's not gonna be a big deal. Um, I probably should also get a barracks, maybe even a naval base right here in the Yucatan. If I can get a barracks here, get conscripts here, then that would be probably uh, the way to go. I would, of course, love to have a professional army, but my people just don't want it. Even though it would be better. They just don't want it. Uh, nearly 85% literacy rate in the country. Looking pretty good. I'd like to get a university in pretty much every location. It'd be nice to just get literacy up everywhere, right? Like, there's no... No university here. We could do that. And there's no university here yet, so do that. Just start expanding knowledge throughout every state. I think it's probably generally going to be a way to, the better way to go here. People are starting to embargo things. 
Uh, El Salvador is going to declare neutrality. Nicaragua has decided they're going to side with Guatemala. So that's good. They've been swayed. Good for you. Good for you, Guatemala. You got Nicaragua to join your side. And they're going to have to go through Honduras to do it. Because I don't know if they even have a navy. Not sure how they're going to get there. Unless they're, gonna, unless they're partners with Honduras. But all right. Uh, in any case, we have 44 on the line. Are you going to get any more? You're worried. Yeah, I can see that you're worried. Are you trying to sway Great Britain? I really hope that doesn't happen. If it does, I need to mobilize a lot more troops. Uh, so, uh, in fact, why don't we why don't we just, you know what? How about we try this? Let's mobilize everybody, right? And we'll scare the shit out of them. And then they'll just be like, uh, you know, on second thought, I don't really want to help you guys because you don't have a chance anyway. I think that's probably the way to go. Let's just, we'll mobilize everybody, bring them in here. Um, we're not going to do any conscripts, but we'll get the, the regular army to move down there. And we're going to take Guatemala and get access to all their wonderful rubber. Speaking of wonderful rubber, uh, we're ready to uh, to use it because the telephone industries and stuff are done. So let's go into government here. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Uh, we want to go to urban. Let's go down to our government administration buildings, right? And we want to go ahead and switch to telephone switchboards. Now, how short are we on telephone switchboards how short are we is anyone complaining about the lack of telephones in their government administration building is anyone worried about it anyone at all no one's complaining here's one. Oh, that's opium opium shortage right like getting opium is a tough cookie there uh, because I keep going to trade routes thinking I can probably bring it in. Import route. I have to import oil, too. Ooh, telephones is up to 41 times now, so we have to do some more on the telephones now, too. Um, opium. So we can only bring it in from the in Italian market and the Russian market. So, like, and they're not very productive in it. So it's just, like, there's nobody I can trade with that can do that. So I need to get, uh, I need to get somebody... I need to get somebody. <laughs> that's what I need to do. Electrics market. Um, let's get a state that's kind of neglected a little bit. Is there anybody that's a little neglected? You. You there. Jalisco. You look very neglected. Let's get um, level 7 electrics company in there. Who else is neglected? Yellow and radicals over here for probably for quality of life reasons. Arizona is going to be a premier supplier for uh, telephones going forward as well. See? I can, I can help you out. Uh, we're also going to get you to make some more tools because we're going to need tools for that as well. And it looks to me like somebody's only got 99% access to the market. So there goes your railway. You're going to be welcome. It's 108 to 3. Uh, I don't know about you, but I think it's time to quit, Nicaragua, Guatemala. Yep. Uh, Great Britain just bowed out, declared their neutrality. And so it's really time for you to just quit. I think... Um, yeah, you should probably just like, you know, back off and just give me give up, all right? Because you're not going to win this. Don't go to war with me, please. I'd rather not destroy your beautiful country. I'd rather use your beautiful country and improve the lives of your citizens. Thank you very much. Okay. Guatemala is now ours, okay? Now they are immediately going to say, oh, opium. I need a, I need a cigarette. I need a smoke. It's not a cigarette, is it? That's tobacco. Oh man, I need a smoke. Life is life is getting cruel, man. We're we're we've been taken over. Are you kidding me right now? Can't believe it. We've been taken over. Don't worry. I have a perfectly good business for you to get started in. We're gonna train you guys to make telephones. I know you're thinking to yourselves, telephone. What is that? Well, we're gonna train you in your new university. Yes, you're gonna be educated as well. Isn't that fantastic? Don't you just love it? Also have you make some food down here, because I think you're probably going to struggle with that a little bit. And uh, why don't we get access to all that wonderful rubber? Where is it? I thought you had rubber. Didn't you have? Yeah, rubber plantations. Max it up. Let's go. And I, I, need, I need more dye in my market, too. So there we go. See, we're just going to get you some more stuff, all right, that you can use to just really be very big and successful, okay? I want your industry to flourish. I want your people to flourish. So this turmoil that you're looking at, this 53%, this is this is opinion of the way it used to be, okay? Not the opinion of the way it is. I will show you a better way, Guatemala. I will show you a better way. Let's just show you how it is, okay? So we now own Guatemala, and all of my government administration buildings have... Look at all this extra bureaucracy. It's kind of nuts. So what we could do with all this extra bureaucracy... 
And it's kind of like, I don't think I need to do this, but I can do this. We can begin incorporating all of these guys as actual incorporated states now, uh, which is kind of, you know, I'm just gonna say it's a little bit weird to incorporate you guys. I kind of only wanted to stay incorporated in the states that kind of mattered, right, to me. Um, but yeah, probably should try that. Uh, is there anything else I can do with my bureaucracy? At the moment, we're just getting a 10% state construction efficiency, which is cool. Uh, but that extra access it doesn't really do as much for us as, as you might think. So we should probably use some of it. And so I guess we'll just go ahead and incorporate some people here. Let's start with the Rio Grande, uh, Durango, Chihuahua, Sonora, and Baja California. We'll get uh, Sonola in here. Uh, Zacatecas, we'll get, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll just keep, I guess we'll just try to incorporate them all. You're all going to be officially incorporated states of the United States of America now. Yeah. Not you, Alberta. I'm still planning on taking over all of Alberta. So I'd rather spend that bureaucracy on the whole thing instead of just that. Uh, okay. So that's going to be... Uh, an adventure. We're just gonna have all of that incorporated eventually with our spare, our spare bureaucracy. Now, how much money are we spending on telephones? How much is, how much are telephones? Telephones are currently. Need to get a source of opium. Telephones are currently only eleven percent. So I did okay. Yeah, it's not. It's not. That's not extreme. It's not very extreme at all. In fact, as soon as Guatemala gets their telephone industry going, we might even have a we might even have a surplus of telephones going on. Of course, the rest of the industries do need to be expanded to support the telephones, but yeah, whatever. It's, it's no big deal. We also need a railway in here because they don't have market access. So let's get them a railway and also I think a couple of ports, a couple of levels on their port just to help with uh, access to the market as well. We'll just get a port in like all these territories here. Lots and lots of ports throughout the United States. There we go. California, you're going to up yours a couple of levels. Does anyone else need... Oh boy, arc welding's done. Um, does anyone else need market access? Anyone else need market access? It doesn't look like anyone else is lacking the market access, except of course for Idaho. You guys, however... A little bit of turmoil going on over here. Unless it's just dust. It might just be the way the graphics are. Just dust. It had that look like there was that, you know, that red haze over them. But I think it's just dusty. There's those little details, man. Look at these birds flying around. Like, they totally didn't need to have birds flying around in the desert. Circling their prey, like little vultures, right? They didn't have to do that, but they did. Got little... Little plants throughout here. I mean, I kind of like looking at this stuff. You know, you, you take a second sometimes in video games to just sort of appreciate the little things that they've done. Like, what's up with this? Like, what's going on with this? Why is there... It's almost like there's oil on the ground, right? Is that what that is in Nevada? Or is this the nuclear testing site? <laughs> Maybe that's radioactive or something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, they got a whole bunch of stuff here. There's this river right through them right through here. I wonder if we can see, let me see uh, where the dam will be. The dam is down here, isn't it? It's, it's right down here somewhere, in this this little river here. I, I don't remember where it is. I want to say it's like over here. The Hoover Dam. I'm looking for the Hoover Dam. I don't see it. I do see these purplish areas, though, and it's got me thinking like, like see, that, see how it glistens like that? bluish pinkish color it's like it's like oil on the pavement right that's what it kind of looks like is that oil do you have oil in the state i don't see oil in the state so i don't think that's oil so i'm not sure what's going on with that it seems to be in nevada i'm wondering if it's in any other states too uh with nevada let's get a university up i want to get another power plant up too we're gonna need that we'll go a couple levels on that university and then uh uh i think we're gonna need more paper Probably not the best place to make the paper, though. I think we just expand the existing industries we already have. And uh, textiles. And we could 
possibly get more motors running here. Just focusing on engines. Uh, we could we could do that. Maybe three levels up on that too. For research, military is where I want to be here because I want to be completely unstoppable. And so for that, I think we get uh, military aviation. It will allow us to unlock the war machine industries. Ooh, nice. The war machine industries. Oh, yes. Uh, Sinaloa eruption. Oh no, a violent eruption has shaken the state of Sinaloa. Fragments of tephra and volcanic ash have destroyed buildings and crops, taking some of the lives of our people. We cannot predict an eruption. <laughs> our people need us. Yes, we will spend $93,000 over five years and only stop a little bit of your devastation. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Sorry. We can't predict an eruption. Come on now. No amount of money will stop these people's these people's anguish. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's really heartless. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, El Salvador, do you have anything I want? Rubber, some dyes, some coffee. Yeah, kind of. Honduras, you got anything I want? 16 on the rubber plants. Ooh, Honduras. Looking mighty fine. Looking mighty attractive indeed, Honduras. What do we got here for Honduras? Huh? Can we... Uh... We do a little something, something. Hmm? Make a little puppet here. Hmm? Anyone? Honduras? Hmm? Salvador? Anyone? I think we puppet Honduras. I think I'm going to go after Canada first, though. I'm going to get this taken care of first, and then um, we can look at that. Like, Canada, to be honest, like their regions really don't have anything that I really need. You know, like they don't really have anything of value for the United States here. The The... The industries that they have available to them are pretty minor. They've got a little bit of oil, I guess, in Ontario. There's oil there's oil areas in Ontario. They do have professional army unlocked, apparently, because they have a 100 level possible from their barracks. So that's interesting. Uh, but they haven't really used They're not using it, but they have it available. But other than that, like, they don't really have a lot of stuff that I need. You know? So I just... I don't know. Honduras seems like the better shot here because I can get my I can get more access to rubber. I don't know. Leave me your comments down below. What do you think? Should we go after Canada next or Honduras? Um, you know, I mean, both are probably going to happen, but just I'm wondering what could happen next. You know, Villasco still has a lot of radicalism going on in here, and I'm thinking, you know, with your population having a very high standard of living relative to your requirements. I feel like you should have a lot less radicalism than you do. But, uh, you know, I get it. It's cool. Whatever. Got university in here. We should probably do a philosophy department in every university. It just uses more paper. So let's go to buildings. Uh, we'll go to the paper mills. And we're going to go to this. Uh, we're going to use more tools. Ooh, a lot more tools. That's fine. We'll use more tools. Whatever. Um, let's make sure we can make the pub. We can make it publicly traded. The paper mill and the paper industry will be publicly traded. That's fine. Um, and then we're just going to up it a couple of levels in all the states where it's at just to keep the price of paper under control, including you, Scranton. And then with that being done, I should be able to go into my universities now, wherever those are. Uh, university here. And we'll change this to philosophy department. Which will use a ton more paper, but it adds a load more people with qualifications, and it adds way more to innovation, which will ultimately lead to us researching things even faster than we already are. So we'll hit that, we'll hit that, and that's gonna make paper prices skyrocket. But once the paper industries get in here, it'll be a lot cheaper. All right. So I think I'm uh, I'm think I'm content with where this video is ending. Um. We've done a lot of stuff here. I, I I know it doesn't maybe seem like it compared to the last video where we like helped out a revolution and had Canada gain its independence. I mean, how do you top that? By annexing it? <laughs> That's how you top it. You annex it. You just go, hey, annex. Uh, so I think we make we're gonna make uh, Canada a puppet. Um, maybe in the next video. Although it looks like I can't do it because our relationship is too high. We're currently trying to improve our relationship with Canada. 
I, I, again, I want to know if there's just a way for me to, you know, just bring him in. Invite the customs union. Failed. They just will not accept this, right? I want to. <laughs> Come on. Join my, join my union. And there doesn't seem to be any option here to... You now, like, we can propose a trade agreement. They won't, they won't agree to it, right? So, like, I don't see a reason now to improve our relationship. In fact, I probably should just damage it. Because that way I could, I could then go in and take them, you know? There's no way to say, hey, buddy, come and join me. And then give them the option. At least they can turn me down. But the option itself is not there, and that's kind of sucky. Communist Party is <laughs> completely and totally dominating the election cycle with an 81%. Okay. I mean, look, I can't control what people want. They want the people want what they want, and apparently they want communism. So what are you going to do? Alternative alternative American history. We're pre-World War 1 barely at this uh July 14th, 1904. And uh I think this is going to do it for my video today. We are uh we're doing stupid well. Um I think it's just time to lower taxes and then go nuts on Canada. We would actually lose $300,000 of income if we drop taxes right now. Uh, but, you know, the poor people would uh, be better off, right? We would, uh, they would be better off and they would like us more and we'd drop radicalism probably. Lots of things could happen from that. And I've got a huge surplus, so why not? Let's give people a break. We'll drop down the taxes. It's pretty good. Our gold reserves are at 54 million now. I think we're set. All right. So I think next video, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually start reducing our interact, our relations, damaging relations with Canada so we can get prepared to take them. I think I'll go after Honduras next. And uh, we're only infamous at 46.4. So I think we can actually puppet Canada and not be pariahs. I think you can. Not if we take Honduras. I think if we do both. We'll be a pariah for a little bit. But uh, taking... Here, I'll just We'll just show you. So make puppet... This will give us 6.9. That's relatively small. And if we want to do Canada, it'll be 52.5. So we can't do both of them and not be a pariah. But if we wait a little bit, maybe we do Honduras and then we wait a little bit longer than we can do Canada. That's, that's an option. Um, but I kind of want to just get access to more of that rubber so that we can take, keep the price down a little bit in my local market. Arts academies are just doing s silly well as well. So we'll go ahead and have those expand in Michigan. And we'll go ahead and have it also expand here as well. Auto expand. Uh, if you're doing really good with cash, just just, just go ahead and expand that. All right. So that's going to do it for me. I don't know how the Communist Party is doing so well in elections, but they are. All right. Take care. We'll see you. Bye-bye.